What's up guys, I'm PvPX, a pro Apex Legends player for Cloud9, and today we're going to make an advanced guide for Crypto. Uh, I'm currently a top 40 Apex Predator player who is maining Crypto and ranked. Um, and just to let you guys know that this guide is definitely not for pubs or pro play, it is specifically for ranked when you're in a group. Um, it is not for solo queue. Uh, crypto is best when he's in an organized environment with communication, and I think personally that he is very, very, very underrated and one of the best characters in the game. Um, also, I'm live every day at twitch.tv forward slash pvpx, so if you guys want to watch this gameplay live, then feel free to come stop by and say hello and, and that you came from the guide. Um, with that being said, let's just jump right into it. All right, first off, I want to tell you guys what the guide is going to be broken down into, and it's going to be eight different parts. Uh, it's going to be the first part is why crypto, uh, what are his strengths, and what, he, what does he counter? The second part is going to be what comps should you play crypto in? The third part is going to be your play style. Um, four is going to be your guns that you should loot. Five is going to be your total inventory, what you should look for. Your six is going to be the drone breakdown or all your abilities that you can do with crypto. Seven is going to be crypto's flaws slash weaknesses. And then eight is going to be my final thoughts and tips and tricks. All right, so the first part is going to be why I play crypto, what are his strengths, and what does he counter? Um, the number one reason why I like playing crypto, specifically in Pred Ranked, is because you can get an insane amount of information with this character. It is the best character in the game for getting info, and info is king. A lot of people think that you win an Apex just strictly through aiming, shooting, but information is very, very, very important because making a smart play will end up uh, helping you win the game, and making a bad play will help you lose the game. And a very specific reason of what I'm talking about is getting third party. Third party is probably the number one reason why most people can't climb in rank because they take a bad fight, they get third party and they die. With crypto, the biggest thing you can do is you can check the champion banner and it tells you how many squads are within 200 meter radius of where you're at. So if you see two, you probably don't want to take a fight. But if you see one, then you can probably take an isolated 3v3 and uh, try to win that fight. So that's a huge reason why crypto is good. And then he has a lot of other added benefits that I'll break down into later in the video. Um, and what does he counter? Counter uh, Crypto counters Gibraltar, which is very, very hard meta right now. And he also can counter some other things, but specifically Gibraltar. He's so good at killing Gibraltar comps because of two reasons. One, Gibraltar comps usually death ball. And when I say death ball, it means that they group together and they fight together. So it's easier for your EMP to hit. And two, when you EMP, it actually cancels the Gibraltar bubble and makes it disappear. So it's insane for countering Gibraltar comps. The next thing I want to talk about is the comp that you should play Crypto with. Uh, the first character is Wraith 100% of the time. Wraith is the best character in the game. You should always be playing Wraith. Uh, she's just absolutely insane. I'm not even going to cover why. She's just the best. You should pick her. Um, the next character is Crypto himself. Um, I would say that he replaces the Beacon character slot. So he would replace either Bloodhound or Pathfinder. Um, you can kind of play Pathfinder with Crypto as well. But Pathfinder has fallen out of meta just a little bit. Um, and then the third character is either Gibraltar or, or Horizon. I think Gibraltar is better because he's just absolutely insane. Um, bubble fighting with Mastiff is unreal. He has the best abilities in the game. He He's just he's just nuts. He's just such a good character. He's good at um, fighting off third parties, healing, quick reses, giving you cover in the open. There's not really much to say other than Gibraltar is just unreal. Um, the other character is Horizon. Believe it or not, uh, Horizon combos extremely well with Crypto because Horizon uh, counters Gibraltar comps as well. Um, you can dodge Gibraltar ultimate with the Horizon Q. Also, when you're fighting squads, you can throw your Horizon ultimate with an EMP and you can wipe squads very, very, very quickly and efficiently. The only downside of having Horizon is that you don't have the cover from the bubble. So if you get caught in a bad spot, then it's a little hard to get out of it. Also, you don't have the quick res or the quick heal. But you do have uh, more team mobility because Horizon Q. It allows you to play in different areas that normally you wouldn't be able to do with Gibraltar because your team can use that um, Horizon for mobility, kind of like old Pathfinder comp. But yeah, definitely test out both. I would say Horizon comp is harder, it takes more skill, and is more risky, but it's still very good. Uh, if you don't like it, then just do Gibraltar. Um, other than that, yeah, you can mess around with some other things, but those are the, that's the comp I recommend. Next part is the play style. I'm going to briefly cover this as I'm going to go more into detail later on. But what I'm going to break this down into is the early game, the mid game and the late game. So the early game, what you want to do with Crypto is land safe. You do not want to be landing on a spot where there's another squad because Crypto is not best to fight off drop. Um, normally Bloodhound is best for that because you can use your scan. 
but crypto without emp loses a lot of uh function in team fighting you can use the drone um it can help you for team fighting but it's just much better to just land safe find your loot try to build your emp and then find fights to, to fight later on and that's where it brings you into the mid game so your mid game what you want to do is you want to roll around on the edge of the map and try to find an isolated 3v3 with one other squad so you're going to use your drone hit the champion banner try and find one squad get a fair 3v3 where you can fight very quickly after you already have your guns of choice you have a little bit of loot you have meds stuff like that and that's where you're going to get your kill points and you're going to get even more loot and upgrade your armor that will bring you into the late game so going into the late game you probably should have already had the beacon hitting so you know where the zone is possibly going to end the end um, as the zones close you should always hit the beacon so you know exactly where it's going to finish and if you have enough kill points enough loot that's where you want to try and rotate towards end game and get a really good spot. My recommendation is for late game, at the beginning of the game, if you see that the zone is potentially going to be a zone that is uh, going to finish on the edge in a spot that's like really, really hard to hold or get into later on. For example, on Olympus map on Rift at the very top where the beacon is, if it looks like it's going to be that zone, try to get there very early so you can hold that position before anyone else can get there. But if it's a middle map circle, where it, you know it, it can finish anywhere and there's not really a best spot to hold you can kind of just play around edge and you don't have to hold a specific spot so you can kind of rotate around just get a safe spot after you got some kills after you got some loot and you should be big chilling to hit beacons a few more times and work your way in towards uh the end game to win the game the next part is going to be the guns um this can be a little bit preference depending on the type of player or aim that you have but this is for me personally I always, always, always recommend Mastiff. Mastiff is very hard meta in Apex Predator. You have to use Mastiff. It is, shotguns are just unreal because it's the best defense for up close fights. If a team runs at you, Mastiff is the best gun that can protect yourself and stop yourself from dying. Um, your main gun, in my opinion, I really like holding Bolt or Flatline because that's a close to mid range gun. And the reason I recommend that is because Crypto is the type of character when you're gonna be in a squad fight, you're gonna use your drone, EMP, put your drone in a safe spot, and then you're gonna run in third behind your teammates, and it's gonna be close range fights where you're gonna use your vault and your flatline um, to try and finish up the kills. So if you run in with like a scout, you know, it's gonna be a close range fight. You don't really want a long range gun. Uh, the next best gun is gonna be Hemlock, just because that gun is absolutely unreal. It's probably the best gun in the game other than Mastiff. So you can use Hemlock or Mastiff, or Hemlock with Mastiff. Uh, it's good hip fire, it's uh, good mid range, good long range, but I do like using Bolt and Flatline a little bit more. Um, after that is Devotion Turbocharger. Uh, that gun is actually insane, but the only problem is you have to find Turbocharger, so I usually don't pick up the Devotion. Um, then good guns, other than that, I would recommend R301. R99 is okay, the only problem with R99 is that the Volt is just better. The R99 is also very weak at mid range. Um, or the Havoc. Havoc is kind of okay. It's, it's good up close. It's good. It's decent mid-range. Um, other than that, it's really preference. Use what you uh, are best with, you know. Just because I say use flatline doesn't mean you have to use flatline. Everyone's a bit different. So for part five, I want to talk about your inventory. And this is probably something that a lot of people actually don't realize is that practicing looting and knowing what your end game inventory is going to be is going to help you uh, a lot in ranked and it's going to help you win a lot more games. So let's say um, you have these guns, which I recommended. Um, I would recommend four stacks of ammo. So one stack for your shotgun, three stacks for your, your gun. And then for batteries, I would recommend up to six because batteries are very, very good for in combat heals. Um, then for heals, uh, med kits and syringes, you just want one stack of each. And then ult excels, you always, always, always want to pick up every ult excel you see with crypto because this is what's going to allow you to win fights way easier. And it takes a very long time to build your EMP. So if you EMP and another squad comes in, you can pop two ult excels really quickly and have another EMP ready. Um, or after each fight, you can pop one ult excel and then let it slowly regen up to 100% again. And if you see another team, then you can pop another one immediately and get it. Or you can just, if you don't see another team, you can just, you know, let it regen to 100. Um, also after that is throwables. Nades are very, very good, especially with crypto, because what you'll end up doing is you're going to EMP a team. And while you're in your drone, your team is going to be fighting. So what you can do is you can throw your nades in while you're running to your team and then when you get there you can help them with your gun um the reason why i don't carry a lot of ammo is because crypto is the type of character where you're going to be in your drone a lot you're not going to be shooting a lot um so you're not going to be running out of ammo a lot and you also need to carry a lot of ult excels and nades help a lot too 
So what's going to happen is if you um, if you find more Ultic Cells, you can drop another stack of batteries or a nade. Um, but ultimately, the, the setup that I just showed you guys is what I recommend uh, for endgame loot. But you don't always have a purple backpack. So if you only have a blue backpack, what I recommend doing is... We'll drop this right here. But anyways, best of luck uh, learning how to loot because it's definitely an underrated skill in Apex. And now we're going to jump into the next part. All right, so the next part of the video is going to be about the drone and all of Crypto's abilities with it. Um, this part is the most important part of the video because it's all of his abilities and it's the reason why you pick the character. So the number one reason is because you can see the champion banners, which are those things right there. And it tells you how many squads are within a 200 meter radius of where Crypto is standing. So when I take out my drone and look at it, it'll say it'll say zero squads because there's there's zero squads near me. Um, like I said, it's a 200 meter radius. If a squad is nearby, it'll say one. If there's two, it'll say two. Um, if it's three, it'll say three. So that's the biggest reason why crypto is picked because you can avoid third parties by knowing that information. Um, other things about the drone is that it can fly 200 meters away. If it if you hit 200 meters away, it won't let you fly anymore. It'll pause. If I run 250 meters away from my drone uh, when it's out, then it'll automatically recall my drone for me. It also has a 30 minutes or 30 meter scan radius. So if I am 30 meters away from a target, it'll give me wall hacks. So let's say I'm right here. I can actually see this person through walls. Um, and my drone is 30 meters away from that guy. And that's a, that's a very far range. Like look, look at where that person is compared to where my drone is. And that's also vertical height. So if I go above this guy after I EMP, this is very high in there. Most people don't realize how far away that drone can scan people to give you wall hacks. Uh, the next thing is the actual EMP itself. This EMP will actually go through walls as well. And it's a very large radius. It's about 30 meters as well. Um, that didn't hit. So it's probably just about just a little under 30 meters. Um, that does 50 damage to the shield HP of each person. So my HP is actually hit for 50. And keep this in mind that it also hits me and slows me. And it hits enemies uh, for 50 shields. It slows them. And also hits your teammates, but it doesn't do damage to your teammates. It only slows your teammates. So you got to keep that in mind. You might mess up your teammates a little bit uh, by slowing them. Um, the cool thing about EMP is it does go through walls. So what you want to do when you're droning is you want to EMP behind a wall. When the EMP explodes, then you go above the fight and leave your drone like this. And you run in and try and help your team like that. Um, other things drone can do is you can pick up a teammates dead banners. Um, and you can instantly revive them at a respawn beacon. Uh, you just fly up to it, hit the interact key, and then the dropship will start coming in. Um, other things that Crypto can do, which is insane, is hit the zone beacons, which will show you the next zone. And the cool thing about that is you can fly your drone 200 meters, even in the red zone, and you can hit beacons immediately. You don't even have to wait for it. You just hit it. Um, uh, another cool thing about Crypto is that he will reload your guns for you. So if you're in your drone, um, it'll automatically reload my gun. It reloads the one that you have out first, and then your next one second. And then last, he can open bins and doors, scout info, and ping loot. So if your teammates need loot, let's say they need a purple armor, you can ping that for them. Um, you can also open doors with crypto, which is very good for scouting info. Or um, even in combat, you can use it for in combat sometimes. And I'll show you guys an example of that. I can open the door. I can open the door, Chase. I can open the door. Just chill, just chill. Ready? Opening right now. <laughs> oh, or you can just scout info generally one of the cool things is that you have a 200 meter flight radius like i said um and you can fly straight up in the air so you can go way up in the air and if there's squads all around you can ping all of them for your teammates another tip for drone is being able to emp while you're out of your drone you can actually pre-place your drone in a spot where you think that they won't shoot it like on the rooftop if they're inside of a building or outside the building on the ground where they can't shoot it and you can EMP them for free through the walls. The cool thing about doing that is that you can actually see their locations because you'll see the damage numbers on them and you can see what kind of armors they have because it'll tell you what color armor they have. Um, unfortunately, you won't get the wall hacks because your drone won't be in the building or scanning them, but you get a, a cleaner way of EMPing and allows you to push in a little bit better as crypto yourself to help your teammates. Um, and the cool thing is if it hits for like 40 damage, the EMP, then you know that their armor is broken and you'll hear the crack sound as well. So for the next part of the video, I want to talk about Crypto's flaws. So basically with Crypto, you're more of a glass cannon-esque type of character. Um, it's not as good off drop and it's bad for fighting off third parties. 
because uh, if you're going to compare like Bloodhound to Crypto, since they kind of share the same role, Bloodhound has his scan off drop. Crypto only has his drone. He doesn't have EMP right away. So you got to keep that in mind. Whenever you don't have your EMP, you are definitely limited to your in-fight capability because when you're in drone, you can't shoot. You can put your drone in a decent spot to give you wall hacks, but there's no guarantee that your drone won't get shot and destroyed. Um, and when you're not in drone, you're basically uh, an ability less an ability less character. Like you don't have abilities. Um, and what I say by bad for fighting off third parties, let's say you fight a squad, you EMP and you kill them. And then immediately a third party comes in that you didn't realize was there because you didn't check banners for whatever reason, or if you're forced to fight and then another party third parties, if you don't have EMP, like I said before, you do have your drone that can help you a bit for wall hacks or something. But if your drone gets destroyed or if your team gets knocked immediately, you know, your only real option is to kind of fight uh, without your drone or to run away and then use your drone for recovering banners. So it's a little bit risky, whereas Bloodhound, he can provide wall hacks every 20, 24 seconds, I believe, um, which can help your team a lot in mid combat and also help your team fighting off third parties because it's not a long cooldown like your EMP ultimate. This is another reason why I say carry around ultic cells because ultic cells can help you get your EMP really back or get your EMP back really quickly, which can fight off those third parties. Um, but just keep in mind that Crypto does have some flaws, but I still think that he is a stronger character than Bloodhound and Ranked when you play him correctly. For part eight of the video, I actually want to talk about positioning a bit. Um, my final thoughts on Crypto and a little bit of tips and tricks. So for positioning, I'm going to break this down into three different parts. It's going to be controlled 3v3 fights that you know are going to happen. There's going to be um, mid-range fights where you kind of, you know, the team is close to you and you're you're about to fight them. You, did, you weren't really ready for it, but they're not immediately on top of you. And then there's going to be the surprise fights. Let's say where you like pull up into a building and you don't even realize people are there and you're just there on you immediately. So for the controlled 3v3 fights, the positioning that you want to work is you want to be close enough to the team to where you can EMP, but you're just out of range where the EMP is not going to hit you, but it's going to hit all of them. It's okay if it hits your teammates because it's going to do much worse damage to the enemy. And as soon as you EMP, you can fly your drone in the air, get wall hacks, or maybe even if your team's winning the fight really easily, you can stay in your drone and just fly around and, and get good uh, wall hacks for your team. Um, but typically what I'll do is I'll EMP uh, through a wall, uh, make, sure, make it so they can't shoot the drone. And then after the EMP goes off, I'll put the drone in a spot that can give me wall hacks. Um, and then I'll push in immediately after and I'll help my team. So the next part is going to be the mid-level fights where you're like close to a team, um, but you're kind of rushed a little bit. So what you can do is you can take your drone out quickly, EMP, and then maybe put it in a spot where it can scan people or where you think that they might go. Or if you don't have time, it's fine. Just leave your drone uh, in the corner of a room uh, or maybe even don't face it at all. Because the next thing is the surprise fights or the third party where you're not really ready for them to be on top of you. Um, it's okay to literally pull out your drone, immediately hit your ult, and if it hits you, it's fine. Just as long as you get the EMP off against the other team, it can do a lot of damage. It can break their Gibraltar bubble. It could cancel their Horizon ultimate. It can uh, knock all their shields for 50 damage. Um, it can do a lot of work more than you really think. And the wall hacks is kind of a luxury. It's not a necessity compared to how much your EMP can do. And this is where I want to lead into tips and tricks. So most people don't realize, but EMP actually does damage to uh, Gibraltar bubble. It can make it disappear immediately. Um, it does damage to Horizon ultimate. If, if there's a Horizon ult on the ground, it'll actually break the Horizon ult and make it go away. If there's a Watson ultimate or caustic barrels or Watson fences, it will destroy all of those. So it actually interacts with other legends abilities um, other than your own teammates. It only does this to the enemies. Um, it'll break their abilities. So that's very helpful if like there's a caustic in a building you can emp and take away all his barrels um other tips and tricks that i recommend are learning how to do movement with crypto while you're in your drone so what you can do is for example when you call your drone down a hill you can slide while you're doing it and this is really good for you know general mobility for checking banners and you you keep yourself moving um you can also b hop while you're in your drone so like as you're calling it out with the animation you can b hop uh, while sliding this is just for quickly checking banners like like that and then immediately getting back in um and recalling your drone another tips and trick is that you actually don't need to always recall your drone so let's say you land on a spot that you know there's no squads you can just leave your drone out like that and then whenever you want to check you can just go on your drone real quick does zero there's no squads maybe five seconds later you can check again does zero there's no squads 
another thing is when you're in a trident you can actually while you're in the seat of the trident not the one driving you can call out your drone and you can check the banner while you're in the trident and then immediately recall it <laughs> you do it for free no teams you didn't believe zippo teams and then you can keep doing that over and over and over you can keep checking how many squads are near um the the very important thing about that is that if the squad thing says zero and then it changes to one then you know that there's one squad that's exactly 200 meters away from your location so you can open up the map immediately and kind of check like okay they could be here they could be here or maybe you want to stop the vehicle and get ready to fight them or just be careful because we don't want to get arc starred or you could have your gibraltar ready to bubble your car immediately something like that you just get ready for it and then uh there's another thing i've heard about where you can cancel the animation of the drone by throwing a hollow spray i'm not going to show an example of that because i think it's a bug and i don't like abusing bugs but that's a thing if you want to look into it i'm not saying use it but it's a thing apparently another great combo you can use with wraith which i call the portal bomb is where your wraith can put a portal at your feet and run towards the enemy and as soon as you're about to emp you'll be ready to shoot and you can take the portal to your teammates as soon as the emp is finished another cool tip and trick that you can do with crypto is comboing arc stars with your drone uh, most people don't realize but you can actually have your teammates stick your drone with an arc star and you can fly it at enemies and have it blow up and kill them all for free but the cool thing is that it doesn't damage your drone and it doesn't slow your drone while you're flying so if you're outside of a building and there's a team bunkering inside you can have your teammates pull the combo off with you so another thing i want to talk about is your drone movement the best way to think about your movement with drone is kind of like ice skating where it's momentum based where you're going one direction you can't immediately just stop and turn around and go the opposite direction you're actually going to hit a little pause period it's going to slow you down and then you can go the other way full speed um the reason this is important for example if you wanted to go into a building to grab a teammate's banner it, you're going to have to like fly in and you should use the momentum of you stopping to kind of turn around and grab the banner and then go the opposite direction so you can't just immediately fly, stop on the banner, and then go because there's going to be a period where you're stopped, uh, you're stuck still. So what you can do is kind of just like do a 180, slow down a little bit, grab the banner, and move to the side um, to carry your momentum, make it harder for your enemies to shoot your drone and keep your drone alive. Also, my final thoughts on Crypto. Like I said before, I think he's one of the best characters in the game for ranked. This is not for pubs. This is not for solo queue ranked. This is for when you're in a group. And this is not for pro play. But I think in ranked is so important just because of the information of stopping third parties, the ability to win fights very quickly and efficiently with EMP, and also the amount of other perks that you get with, with crypto, like hitting beacons, hitting revives, getting teammates banners in red zones, having wall hacks. There's just so many benefits to playing crypto. I highly recommend this character um, in the meta right now, unless there's crazy changes this upcoming season. But I'm going to be going for rank one this upcoming split if not rank one eat, eat like top top 10 at the very least so if you guys want to watch me once again at twitch.tv forward slash pupx and i hope you guys enjoyed the guide and i'm probably going to end this guide with a short vod review um if not in the guide i'll make it into a separate video anyways thank you so much for watching if you guys uh, want to keep, continue to watch i'll provide a vod review towards the end and uh if you enjoyed the video please let me know down in the comments and uh yeah thanks for watching much love guys